Welcome back to C++ with Miyoshi. Today we're going to put together uh, some output, some input, uh, some variables and constants, and we're going to put together with a little bit of math and come up with a useful program. So, um, we're going to put all that together and do a little bit of Einstein. Um, here in this program, I have a little bit of input, or uh, I have a, some prompts to the user telling them what the program is going to do. So it says, input a mass in kilograms and I will give you the its energy equivalent in joules. And so this is just Einstein's equation. Uh, and then it's got this little prompt here. This is printf mass and we have kg in parentheses with a colon. Notice there's no backslash in there. There's just a little space there. And I do that so that when the user puts in the number, it's going to go right next to that um, um, colon there. And then we have, a, I declare my variable mass. Um, back in the old days when I was learning how to program, we declared all our variables up in the front. Um, but I'm trying to, to uh, adapt with the times, and these days you want to put your, your declare your variables right when you need them. And so I declared my variable float right before I scan it in uh, with this little scanf. Uh, when you be careful with scanf, um, I have taught scanf for so long, I still kind of use it, but it's really not the the um, the, the preferred method anymore. There's a different scanf that they use. But scanf is, uh, is injective to you still. Um, I use scanf, open parentheses, double quote, percent f, double quote, comma, ampersand, mass, close parentheses, semicolon. What that does is the inside my double quotes here, that tells me the data type. So only put the percent f. I have students all the time put in backslash ends in there, and then it's trying to look for another new line. But what we want here is only the percent %f in there, or only the percent with the data type that I want. Um, then I have my comma after my double quotes, and I have this little ampersand. The ampersand says that is a pointer. It's a, it's a it's go to the address of mass and stick it in there. So um, anyway, so I'm scanning in my mass, which is a float, and I'm putting it into the memory location associated with mass. Um, and that's just an input from the user. Then I have this flush all. The flush all takes uh, what's called the buffer and it flushes out the buffer so it gets ready for the next input. Um, I have my constant float C and it's uh, 3 times 10 to the 8th and that's in meters per second, um, meters per second squared. And, but we don't have to worry about the units, but that is my speed of light. So if you really want to, probably you want to do this speed of light. And I can have that as a comment there. And then my energy. This is Einstein's famous equation. E equals mc squared, or energy in this case. I, I um, actually, oh, I have to do this too. This is actually mass. I have to make sure I use the correct variables. Uh, float energy is assigned to the value mass times c times c. Now this one here, um, I probably wouldn't normally do this, but I was trying to save myself a little bit of space and time. Um, but I went float, and I declared my variable. And then I actually declared, and I actually calculated out the value that it's going to be. Because I'm only going to do that once. So I did my float energy is assigned the value mass times c times c. Now, instead of c squared, c squared I can't, a lot of students will try to do c caret 2 because that is squared in some languages. That won't give you an error, but it won't give you what you want. Uh, I believe that's an exclusive or. So don't use c caret 2 in this case, uh, in, at least in C++. So, um, float energy is mass times c times c. This is squared. If you want to do cubed, c times c times c. That's not going to give you any energy in this case, but um, as we get to functions, then we'll uh, be able to do that uh, more efficiently. Not more efficiently, but more uh, in a different way um, using functions. But for now, we're going to just do c times c for c squared. And then this printf. I like to label my output always. Uh, so here I have energy equivalent equals percent E, and that just remember that's just going to give me my output in scientific notation, and then I have joules backslash n to give me a new line, and then I have a comma energy because the energy again is going to go out there. So whatever the calculation is, it's going to go output there in my line of output. Again, my get ch waits for input from the user, so it doesn't just uh, go out. My console application doesn't just close when I'm done, and return zero tells the operating system, "Hey, everything's fine. Um, glad to see you again."
So, um, pretty quick program. I have all my students do this program. Uh, gives them a little bit of calculations. It gives them a little bit of constant, uh, use of constants and uh, variables. And it also helps them to see how to get input um, as well. So, application of all the things we've been learning so far. Uh, output, input, variables, constants, and the whole bit. So, not really exciting programs yet, but we are getting there and uh, using a little bit of math to find out some cool stuff. So, thanks for tuning in to C++ with Miyoshi. Hope to see you again next time.